One of the questions I get asked the most is, there's only a couple of weeks or months left until an exam. Do I really have the time to make flashcards? Or should I just go straight into doing practice questions? And it's actually a good question. So today, I'll try to give you an answer based on your exact situation. But firstly, we need to acknowledge that if we're even in a position where we have to ask this question, that means we've been slacking. Ideally, we should have been making flashcards from the start of the year. My message has always been, do a little bit every day from the start of the academic year, and you won't need to cram that much when the exam season comes. But if you don't have flashcards made already, and you can see the exam season coming in the horizon, that means one of two things. Either your studying technique has been flawed, so you decided to study passively instead of making flashcards, or you've just procrastinated. Either way, the first step out of this situation is to put up our hands and say, you know what, I take responsibility for the situation I'm in, and I'm willing to do a lot of work to get myself out of it. Now, if you are in this position and you ask, should I make flashcards? I would answer with, what else would you do? In my opinion, any successful studying plan can be broken down into only two things going through content, and then applying that content through practice questions. So if you skip making flashcards, how else are you going to go through the content? Are you just going to sit down and read and highlight passively? At the surface level, that might seem like it would be a good way to save time because reading doesn't take as much as typing in flashcards or writing them down. But the thing is, the return on investment you get from just reading and highlighting is nowhere near as the return on investment you could get from just making flashcards. Our brains sometimes trick us. We open a textbook and we start reading some information and it feels like we're learning, it feels like we're retaining that information. But then a couple hours later, when it's time to actually apply the information through practice questions, you don't remember anything. If your goal is to go through content, there isn't a more effective and engaging way to do that than making flashcards. So if you just put in a bit more time, that could mean studying for two and a half hours instead of two hours every day, just to make flashcards, you're going to get a way larger return on investment. And speaking of return on investment, the exam season is coming up, which means every studying session you do from now on has to be effective and efficient. There's no time to waste. Which is why I've launched a coaching program where you and I could talk one-to-one -to, -one to figure out how to make your studying technique as effective as possible so that you can get those top grades you're aiming for. If you're interested, click the first link in the description. Now, if I was in a position where I haven't made flashcards yet and I'm running out of time, this is exactly what I would do. Firstly, I'd find a video explaining whatever topic I'm doing. Let's say I'm doing physics, I'll get a free science lessons video up. The reason why I use a video instead of a textbook or a CGP guide or just notes is that videos are way more engaging. You could watch a video at like two times speed, so you could finish a 20 minute video in 10 minutes. And as I'm watching the video, I'll have my digital flashcard maker up. And listen, you have to use a digital flashcard maker. You could use physical flashcards, but they take way too long to make. For a digital flashcard maker, you just quickly type it up and you're done. So I'll watch the video and every time a point that I'm not really sure of is stated, I'll turn that into a flashcard. Now it's important to only note down content that you're not 100% sure of. Ideally, you'd have flashcards that cover the whole syllabus, even the stuff that you're 100% sure of. But since we're running short on time, we'll only focus on the stuff we really don't know that much. So if I'm watching a video about Newton's laws of motion and I'm 100% sure of his first law, but his second law I'm not really sure about. I'll skip the first law because I'm already sure about it and I'll make the second law a flashcard. It's also important to have the syllabus up on a separate tab for whatever subject you're studying for. Oftentimes, textbooks and guides and even videos have a lot of waffle, stuff that maybe is background information but you don't really need to know. So every time you come across something that you don't, you're not really sure if it's important or not, just check the syllabus quickly. If it's not important, skip it. If it is, make it into a flashcard. Now, flashcards, they're only useful if you actually go through them periodically. If you just make them once and then forget about them, you haven't really benefited from them. Now again, we're short on time, so sitting down on your desk just to go through flashcards, in my opinion, is a waste of a studying session. Instead, I try to reserve those sessions for doing practice questions. So when do I actually go through the flashcards then? Well, for me, I just try to find 10 minutes here and 10 minutes there, where instead of scrolling through social media, I can just go through my flashcards. Let's say, for example, I'm in the car with my family, and I'm getting dropped off somewhere. That's 10 minutes where I could go through a deck or two of content. Let's say I'm in the doctor's office waiting for my appointment. That's another 20 minutes where I could go through flashcards. Just find examples like these in your day where it's time that's usually wasted and use that time to go through flashcards instead. And that's why it's important to have a digital flashcard maker. You can just pull your phone out whenever and just go through flashcards. You don't have to carry a physical deck with you. In my opinion, that makes your studying technique way more effective and saves you a lot of time.